to hopefully all of them. Lisa. Um, presumably. Uh, we discovered that they were in the Shusha uh, refugee camp run by UNHCR uh, in Tunisia. Uh, we met with, with three of the survivors there. We spoke today to a survivor of a horrendous boat incident uh, in the Mediterranean. He was trying with a group of 72 people to escape uh, Libya to reach Europe. Uh, the boat did not have a captain. Um, the boat uh, quickly ran out of fuel. And what, what's really quite worrisome is, according to the survivor, um, two boats um, witnessed them and did not come to their rescue, as well as a, what they say, describe as a military helicopter that dropped water and biscuits, but then fled away. Nobody rescued them. Most of them starved to death or died of thirst. There, there are more and more boats leaving Libya to reach safety in Europe. Um, the problem is they have a chance of survival of about one in 10. So of, 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 of 10 who reach the shores, one has perished. It's, it's a huge number. Um, the reason is they're boarding um, unseaworthy boats. They're being packed onto these boats, way overcrowded. Uh, they're, they're being you know, set off without, uh, without a crew, without a captain. And so the chances that these people will actually reach the shore, reach safety, is very slim.